okay we will now start our design okay so we have to calculate the element value okay so we have to calculate the element value okay so i have given you uh, you the uh, steps okay so first step is calculate the filter order using these two uh, equation okay so this is our first step i will get then here i can't remember this equation actually that is why i get this value this get uh, i will get this actually this uh, this uh, this equation i get this is step this this procedure i get from uh, professor anura gunavardhana's mod okay lecture mod uh, so that is the exact procedure okay so this will be the correct procedure for designing our lpf design okay so actually this uh, this are also i get from his lecture note okay uh, lecture notes okay so okay so this uh, so this is the first thing we have to do okay so uh, we are given the pass band ripple okay so that is uh, 0 0.3 db okay 0 0.3 db and it should be la is the pass band uh, ripple ripple okay and here it is as ap okay so this will be the ap actually ap is equal to 10 log 1 plus epsilon 2 epsilon is k okay so first we have to calculate this uh, ripple factor okay so you can use this identity ap is equal to 10 log 1 plus epsilon square so you can calculate this value okay uh, so the epsilon square will be epsilon square will be uh, 10 to the power 0 0.03 minus 1 no? so this will be epsilon value okay you can calculate this okay so actually i have coded them in matlab okay so that i can uh, quickly calculate okay so uh, my la is 0 0.3 okay 0 0.3 here i coded the same equation okay 10 to the power L A divided by 10 minus 1. Okay. So the, uh, the, the given given <coughs> expression I have coded in MATLAB. Okay. So I have entered my L A value. Okay. Uh, so that is the pass band ripple. Okay. Then if I then if I run this, okay. If I run this. So this will be now my epsilon scale, 0 0.0715. So I have calculated that, okay? So you can calculate it, okay? So uh, so you are uh, designed this uh, pass band ripples and this can be changed, okay? But the procedure is same, okay? You have to substitute your value here, okay? Okay, now the second, now then we have to calculate the order of the filter okay so you can use this identity okay and the order should be greater than okay so posh inverse posh inverse okay square root of 10 a s is the stop band attenuation that is 0 30 db okay so this will be the stop band attenuation this a s is the stop band attenuation okay stop band attenuation stop band attenuation okay and this omega s will be the stop band and this omega p will be uh, the pass band edge frequency okay edge frequency 
and also we have found the epsilon value also we know this value okay so all the all, all the values we know so using the calculator or something you can calculate the n value okay so that will be your filter order okay so uh, 10 to the power okay so in my case as is 30 db 30 should be divided by 10 minus 1 okay and it should be divided by epsilon square we have already calculated that value here okay here okay you can substitute it here okay and this should be divided by wash inverse okay so here it is given in radian per second not in hertz okay but it is you can see that it is a rational okay so if you put the hertz value it will be okay because it is a rational so that means uh, here you have given two five uh, FP, okay? FP is uh, FS, sorry, the pass band, stop band H frequency, 7.2, okay? FC, that is 7.2, FS, sorry, FS, that is 7.2, 7.2, so this will be the FS, okay? And it should be divided by 2 5 5.8 no that is your stop band edge frequency this stop band or pass band edge frequency sorry pass band edge frequency 5.8 gigahertz okay and 5.8 okay so this will be your pass band edge frequency so the both time gigahertz. So this is in giga, this is in giga. So you can see that giga, giga cancel. Two, five, two, five will cancel. And you will have seven by two divided by five by eight. That is FS divided by FP, okay? So you have these values and you can calculate the end, okay? So I have coded it in MATLAB also. So this is for calculating the end value, okay? So my, Attenuation is 30 dB, it is okay. And uh, omega S, omega S should be uh, stop band frequency, that is 7.2, no? 257.2, because FP is given 7.2, but here I write it as omega. So my omega will be 2 pi. 2 pi 7 by 2 okay and omega c omega c is actually omega p pass band h frequency it will be it will be 5.8 no so it will be 2 5 2 5 5.8 5.8 okay and if I run this, I should have, okay, so this will be my n. n is 8.01, okay, so n is 8.01. So my n should be greater than 8.01, okay. So I have calculated this way, okay. And uh, in uh, lab session, we have seen that this n should be uh, approximate to upper odd value this should be approximately upper uh, approximated to upper odd value not the uh, even value okay so n should be equal to 9 okay so if you get uh, 7 point some value please don't approximate it to 8 you have to approximate it to next odd value that is for 9 only okay but if you have six point something, you can approximate it to the seven. Okay, so you have to approximate it to a next odd value, not a even value. Okay, so this will be our my n. My n will be nine. Okay, so uh, what's that it means? Okay, so my capacitance and inductance, number of capacitance and induction will be nine. Okay, so. I will get this kind of ladder circuit, okay? So it is starting from a capacitor, then an inductor, then a capacitor, <clears throat> then inductor, capacitor, 
shunt capacitor, serial inductance, shunt capacitor, serial inductance, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and shunt capacitor. Okay, so this will be my uh, ladder circuit. This kind of ladder circuit we have, I will have. Okay, so now I have to calculate this capacitance and inductance value. So if I write this C1, L2, C3, L4, C5, L6, C7, L8, C9. Okay, so I have to calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, values there will be one two three four inductors and one two three four five capacitors okay so you can see that in this uh, so once you calculated the value you can see that this uh, this circuit will be symmetric symmetrical with this axis so l2 is equal to l8 l4 is equal to c l6 and C1 is equal to C9, C3 is equal to C7, okay? And there is a C5. So only you have to calculate C1, L2, C3, L4, C5. One, two, three, four, five values, okay? And you can get this value also, okay? Now the problem is how to calculate this value, okay? How to calculate this value, <clears throat> okay? So here, so this, you, this will be your filter circuit, okay? So this will be your filter circuit, okay? So output, you have the input, you have the source, and there is a source resistance, okay? And there should be a source like this. And output, you have the load, like this. And there is a load resistance also, okay? So how to calculate this value, okay? So uh, in lab session, in, in our lab session, we have seen that we can first calculate the prototype ladder circuit. What is prototype means uh, the ladder circuit that is give one ohm source impedance and load impedance load impedance, source impedance and load impedance and one radian per second frequency, okay? So this is the phototype value, okay? So we are given a set of equation to calculate this phototype ladder circuit, okay? So that is our next step, okay? I have mentioned it in the handout, okay? So you can see that you can calculate the prototype capacitance and inductance using the table or you can use this identities okay so these are also given i get from the professor anuraguna vardhana smart directly okay actually without his permission I don't think it will be a show because i also use this for teaching purpose okay so I'm not, I don't think it will be an issue, okay? Um, so you can use this uh, equations to calculate the phototypes elements value, okay? Or otherwise, uh, there are some tables, okay? Some tables to uh, given. You can find some tables uh, and in your assignments also you are given the tables. Uh, with respect to a, uh, with respect to the given uh, passband ripple, okay. Uh, but uh, and also there are you can find it. Uh, you can find these uh, tables in the internet also, okay. Uh, and uh, you can calculate this actually, okay. So you can easily code this in MATLAB and you can calculate the values, okay. So here you can see that. Uh, okay, so here you can see that G0 will be our source impedance. It will be our source impedance. It will be one more. Okay, so it, it is one. Okay, and uh, G1 
that means our first capacitance g1 okay and uh, then you have g2 g3 okay so g2 will be the inductance okay and g3 will be the capacitance g So actually we have calculated this in so this here okay. so you can see that okay so we have we have done this in our lab session we have discussed these things okay uh, so I will tell you the procedure only, okay? So this G0, G0 will be the source impedance, okay? So it will be the source impedance, one more, that is related with the source, okay? And uh, this, uh, you can see that there are G1 up to GK. So K is two, three, up to N, N means the filter order, okay? So that means you have up to nine, okay? Up to nine, you have, the values okay so here you have g0 okay and this will be the g1 our first capacitance value okay our first capacitance value g1 okay and you can see that now k is up to 2 3 4 up to n so g2 g3 g5 up to g9 okay so these are our inductance and capacitance value like this. Okay. 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 So you can see that it is G1. G2, G3, G4, G5, G6, G7, G8, G9. Okay. So you can you have, you can get one, two, three, four, five capacitance value and one, two, three, four, five inductance values. So this capacitance values in farad. Okay. These are in farad. Okay. So you can use a table for that one to get this value. And also you can use this equation. Okay, so these are in Henry. These are the inductance. So these are in Henry. Okay. And G n plus one. Here it is said that G n plus one in our case, that is G10. G10. So what is this? Because n is nine, n plus one is 10. What is this? This will be our load impedance, okay? And it is one ohm, okay? Because we are using n odd number, okay? So if we are using even number, our uh, 10, our the load impedance will not be one, okay? So that will cause a problem, okay? So that is why we select this n in odd values, okay? so that we can get our load impedance as one, okay? So this is our load impedance, it is one, correct? A second. So it will be one, okay? So this will be our load impedance and this will be our source impedance. We no need that too. We have to only calculate this G1, G2, G3, G4, this way, okay? So how to calculate them using this uh, equation? Very simple. You are given the LA, okay? That is uh, pass band ripple, that is 0 0.3, okay? So you can calculate the beta value actually, okay? Once you calculate the beta value, you can calculate the gamma value, okay? Because beta you know, n you know, n is nine in our case, okay? So you can calculate the gamma value, okay? So once you calculate the gamma and N, okay, 
gamma and n, you can calculate this AK values and BK values, okay? So all these values can be calculated, okay? So G1, you already have, so this A1, cal A1 can be calculated using this equation, putting K is equal to one, then you can calculate the A1, and gamma you have already calculated, okay? So if you divide it to A1 by gamma, you will get our first capacitance value, okay? Then you, you have to use this. After that, you have to be, use this one, okay? Then you can uh, put K here. K is equal to two here. So you will get G2 is equal to four AK minus one. That means four A1, okay? Because two minus one, A1 into A2. Okay, so A1 already you have calculated for this one. Okay, and A2 you can calculate using putting two here. Okay, so you can put two here, you can calculate the A2 value and it should be divided by BK minus one, that means B1 and GK minus one, that is G1. So G1 you have already calculated, B1 you can calculate this using this, okay, because you already know the gamma value okay and you can put k is equal to one here and you can find the b1 value okay likewise you can calculate the g2 so on you can calculate g3 g4 g5 all this these uh, values can be calculated calculated using this set of equation okay so very simple so easily you can code it in matlab okay i have already ordered this okay so for this uh, so you can see that uh, uh, you have to use the previous calculated value to calculate the present value okay so i used uh, for loops and some conditional statement okay and uh, this code is to find the prototypes elements value okay so very easily you can So you can uh, you can check this code okay you can check this code then you can try this code by yourself okay then you can do you can use it for any design any lpf design okay so we have to design many lpf okay so i have uh, used this method okay 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 so you can check this one later and you can write like this, okay? So here, if I input in my frequency, okay? So I can directly input my frequency in, uh, in uh, uh, in Hertz, okay? Without a show, okay? So AP should be, 0 0.3 okay and my stop band angular frequency okay actually this should be this should be this should be uh, pass bandage frequency i hope okay but it is not effect to calculate this uh, uh, prototype elements value okay for later things we should use these uh, values okay so at that time we will check that Okay, for this one, you have to put the filter order and the AP value, okay? So once you have these two value, you can calculate the uh, uh, gamma value, okay? And beta value, okay? Um, and you can calculate the AK value, BK value, then you can calculate the G value. Okay, G1, G2, G3 value, okay. So if I run this, okay, in this array, this GK array, okay. These are my capacitance and inductance value, okay. Let's, I hope uh, you can uh, copy them. Okay, I have copied them. I'm not sure. Let's see. Ah, yeah, we can get now. Okay. 
So you can see that these are my value. Okay, these are my value. Okay. And you can see that this is my G1. Okay, so this will be my G1. It will be uh, 1.52 farad, 1.52 farad. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, I hope it is okay. And this is my G2. It is 1.35 Henry. Okay. And G3, this will be my G3. It will be 2.44, 2.44 farad. Okay, I use some other farad. That, okay, so this is 1.35. This is 1.35. This is 2.44. Okay. So this will be G2. Okay. So G1 will be 1.52 carat. And G2 will be 1.34. Uh, Henry. You can use uh, you can use the table, okay, without writing this uh, MATLAB uh, code. You can directly use the table to get this value. In the table, you can find G1, G2, G3, so on, okay. So you can directly use the table, but sometimes for some triple factors, this uh, this uh, what uh, passband refer this uh, passband triple uh, value. Uh, we can't find the tables, okay? At that time, you have to use the uh, use this equation, and you have to calculate the value, okay? But uh, in your assignment, you are given the corresponding filter table, so you can directly use that filter table, no issue, okay? You will get the full marks, okay? So this G three will be uh, two point four four para, and this G4 will be 1.46 and G5 will be uh, 2.5, okay, 2.5 uh, farad. G6 will be 1.46, 1.46 and G7 will be 2.44 farad. 2.44 parrot, parrot, and uh, your uh, G8 will be 1.34. Okay, so this will be 1.34 Henry. Okay, and your final capacitance value will be 1.52. Okay, so this will be 1.52. Okay, so you can see that this one, this one equal. Okay. So this one, this one equal, this one and this one equal, okay, this one and this one equal, okay. And also you can see that this one and this one equal, this one and this one equal. So that is why I told you that the circuit is symmetrical here, okay, this side and this one, sides are identical, okay. So uh, in another words, you can put your input signal from here, or you can put your input signal from here, no issue. That means if you measure the S21 and magnitude S21 in dB and magnitude S12 in dB, both will be look same, okay? So this both are, will be same, okay? And this will be the filter response, okay? Filter response, okay? Um, so we have calculated the phototypes values. Now what is the value? Okay. So these phototypes values we calculate with respect to these values, these all values. Okay. We calculate with respect to input, input output impedance to one omega and the frequency is one radian per second. Okay. Now what we have to do? Now we have to scale this for our case. Okay. So our case the impedance will be 50 ohm and our frequency will be 5.8 gigahertz okay so if i write it in radian per second it will be 25 
into 5.8 giga radian per second. Okay. So, so now you have to scale. So this is for one, this cal calculated values are for one ohms and one radian per second. Now you have to scale them to 50 impedance and scale them to 5.8 gigahertz frequency. Okay, so that is we call impedance and frequency scaling. Impedance and frequency scaling. Okay, so that will be our next part, next step. Okay, to calculate the impedance and frequency scaled value. Okay, so you have calculated your prototypes ladder. Okay, this one. Okay, so if you have time, you can. Uh, you can simulate, you can draw this in your HFSS using the step impedance me method, and you can simulate this one also. And you can check that uh, it is the stop bandage frequency in one radian per second or not. Okay. And you can, you can verify this. Okay. These additional things, it is not uh, expect. This is this that, that one is not expected to do in your assignment. Okay, so don't try to simulate this one. Okay, at that time, if you have time later, you can do that. Okay, so it will be the impedance and frequency scaling. It's, now you have to find the impedance and frequency scaled element value. Okay, that is that will be our. C1, L2, C3, L4, C5, L6, C7, L8, C9, so on. Okay, so that will be our frequency scale value, our final value. Okay, now the next step. Okay, actually the third step. Okay, so to calculate the frequency scaled and so using this, so this will be our step three, calculating frequency and calculating frequency and impedance scaled value, okay? So equations are given, so you have to directly uh, substitute the value here. Very simple. Okay. So if you calculate, so you have the G1 value. G1 is 1.52, no? 1 to farad, as I can remember. Let's check. So it will be 1.52 farad. 1.52 farad. No? 1.52 farad. Okay. So I get that value. Okay. Okay. And it is a capacitor. Okay, for capacitor, we have to use this value, this, uh, this identity, okay. So I will use that one. So my, I'm going to calculate the C1, okay, okay. So CP, actually this CP is the G1, okay. This CP will be our prototype value, okay. CP will be our prototype value. So P is here to capacitor for prototype. Prototype, sorry, prototype. Okay, so that is uh, it is put as CP, but we denote it using G. Okay, don't worry. Okay, okay, okay. So you can calculate the C1. CP is the prototype capacitance is 1.52 farad divided by 25. FC, FC is 5.8, our passband H frequency, passband H frequency, 5.8 gigahertz, okay, 5.8 gigahertz, so you have to put the gigahertz here, so you have to put 5.8 divided by 10.9, okay, and R naught, R naught is input and output impedance. That is given as 50. 
that is given as 50. Output impedance, output impedance, it is 50 ohm. Okay. So it is 50 here. Okay. Now you can calculate the C1 value. In the same manner, using this one, you can calculate the L2 value. What is L2 value? R0 is 50. L, LP, that is inductance for prototype. So L2, G2 value. No? I'm going to find the L2. So corresponding value is G2, this one. 1.34. Okay. So this one, 1.34 Henry. G2, okay. So it will be 1.34, okay, divided by 25. Fc is 5.8, 10 to the power 9, okay. And be sign Henry, and you will get this value in Farad, okay. So you will get very small value because you have divided it by 10 to the power 10, okay. So you are you will get uh, nano and pico scale okay so anyway you can calculate all these values okay and you can calculate the c3 okay what you have to do that is you can uh, you can substitute the c3 value okay so that will be 2.44 okay so you can calculate 2.44 divided by 2.5 5.8 10 to the power 9 divided by 50 and you can calculate this value okay so you can calculate g1 c1 c3 value okay so for that one also i i have used matlab program okay so it is very easy okay and i used this command this lines to calculate my impedance and frequency scaled value, okay, in C, K, and L, K. So I, I, I put this C values of the capacitance values and inductance values separately, okay. So here I have the capacitance value, okay, capacitance value. So you can see that only I have one, three, five, seven, nine capacitance, no? So the inductance will be, it is not calculated here, okay. So we have to do that, okay. So this will be my Capacitance value. Okay. So this will be my capacitance value. Okay. So this one will be C1. This one will be C2. This one will be C3. This one will be C4. C1, C2, C3. Okay. So this one will be C1. This is C2. This is C3. Sorry, C1, and this is C3. This will be my C5. This will be my C7, and this will be my C9, okay? So C1, C3, C5, C7, C9, I have calculated, okay? So you no need to use the MATLAB. If you are not comfortable with MATLAB, you can use a calculator. And you can calculate using this identity, you can calculate C1, C3, C5, C7, C9, like this. Okay. So you can see that here e to the power uh, minus 12, that means uh, 10 minus 12. No? So it will be, so this value will be 1.49, 10 minus 12. 10 minus 12 means picofarad, no? Pico. Okay. So this will be in picofarad, okay? So this will be, so this capacitance will be 9.3 picofarad, okay? And C1, uh, 
C3 will be 1.49 picofarad. Okay. And C5 will be 1.5 picofarad. C7 will be 1.49 picofarad. C9 will be 9.3 picofarad. 9.3 picofarad. And you can see that this one, this one equal, this one and this one equal. And you have this value. Okay. And in the same manner, you can calculate the inductance value. Okay. So in MATLAB, I have calculated that value. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. I have to, I have to put this to 5.8. Okay. 5.8. Okay. So it is 58. Okay. So my value will be somewhat different. Very little. Okay. So these are my capacitance values actually. 8.38. Okay. So it is e to the power 12. No? 0 0.8 point. Uh, uh, see. So I will get this value. Okay. So this will be uh, 8.3 0 0.838 picofarad. Okay. So this will be 0. 838 picofarad, okay, and this will be another value. No? This will be sorry, I think uh, the power will be gone, okay. So this will be 1.34 picofarad, okay, 1.34 picofarad, okay, and this will be 8. Point 0 0.838 picofarad. This will be 1.34 picofarad. So on, you can calculate, and my inductance value will be okay. Please calculate these values are not uh, correct. Okay, so you have to calculate this value. You have to get this value. These are the capacitance value. Okay, because I have I you now I have changed the uh, <coughs> frequency. To the correct frequency okay so this this will be my corrected value okay so this will be my corrected value so you can see them okay okay so this is 8.38 so 0 0.8 0 0.838 picofarad 1.34 picofarad 1.37 picofarad, 1.34 picofarad, 0 0.8, 0 0.38 picofarad. Okay, so these are the uh, correct value, and in same manner, this will be my inductance value. It is in L array. This one in this. Okay, so these are my inductance value. Okay, so these are my inductance value. So. These are my inductance value, and you can see that only odd position we have the uh, even position we have the inductance value. Okay, so this will be my inductance value. Okay, and I put it here. Okay, and this will be my inductance value. Okay, uh, so you can see that they are in nano Henry because e to the power so you can see that this is my l2 okay this is my l2 it is equal to 1.84 10 to the power 9 that means nano no 1.10 nano henry please check that as i can remember minus 10 to the power minus 9 is nano no micro then nano then pico no so pico is 10 to the power 2L minus 2L, nano is 10 to the power minus 9. So it will be nano Henry, and this will be 2.01 uh, nano Henry. This is L4. Okay. And this will be my L6. That will be 2.01 nano Henry. And this will be my L8. That is 
1.84 nano hindi 1.84 nano hindi okay so this will be 1.84 nano hindi this will be 2.01 nano hindi this will be 2.01 nano hindi and again this will be 1.84 nano hindi you can see within this line this one and this one equal this one and this one equal so inductance are also symmetrical between this one okay so we have calculated the frequency scaled value also okay we have calculated the frequency scaled value also now we have our complete low fast filter ladder circuit okay so we have our complete low fast filter ladder circuit okay but uh, you can see then for this frequency actually you can find this uh, inductance and capacitance with this range okay this range sometime you may find the capacitance and inductance but when the frequency is very high this value will be very low okay so sometime you can't find those capacitance in the market in the market okay so you have to use another method to implement this lpf for high frequency value okay because this inductance or capacitance sometime not uh, available and also when we are using this lump component so this is called lump component lump component okay and we have to do some soldering also then that line width line uh, impedance also can be changed so that will affect to your uh, design again okay so so for high frequency this uh, using this lump element that is capacitance and inductance is not uh, reliable okay so we have to use another solution for that one okay so there is the solution we can use the step impedance uh, technique okay step impedance technique okay to find to to implement the lpf lpf okay so we can implement the lpf using this impedance is in step impedance techniques okay so that will be our next part okay so this is the next part and uh, this uh, this uh, we use micro strip lines to to uh, construct the lpf and we will see how to do that one. okay now that is our next step if i hope you get uh, you you can now understand how to calculate this ladder circuit okay so if you calculate this ladder circuit uh, now the next step is okay uh, to calculate the uh, step impedance circuit okay using the micro strip lines micro strip lines okay so that will be our next point